Hey guys, this is the Spirit Mongo 187 and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. We are still going to play as Lance. Let's give our opponent the high have fun. What the have fun. And let's start the game. Let's see what we have in hand. Um, well, I guess he does not play any weapons, so we can get rid of the Rider of Elos. And we're facing a uh, in the shaven deck. So let's pwn this guy. We have to win because we want more rating points. We are stuck at 211 now. So let's hope he does not have any artifact destruction. And let's sacrifice that one and play our rogue agent. Um, I haven't seen rogue agents much in shadow rogue decks. Or agent Rex, sorry, rogue agents. Agent Rex and uh, a lot of rogue decks, but I think it's pretty nice to uh, pressure your opponent to steal an artifact. And if you're casting your opponent and uh, doesn't use any artifacts, just sacrifice it. Let's get rid of a raven because we have one in our hand. It will just, uh, we don't need to in our hand. It's end turn. So he played a Puin, so we're going to take some damage here and expect uh, he's going to drop a Jasmine or an Alden. So next turn we're going to play the Ill-Gotten and after that we can play the uh, Ankle Breaker or the Raven and give it haste. So we're going to, if he's going to play something really scary, we're going to play the Raven maybe. But I guess, my guess is that we are going to play the Ankle Breaker. So we're going to take some more damage, and that's pretty normal with the uh, with the uh, land shatterstock at least uh, what I have seen that we take some damage with it. So we play the little button and hit him in the face. Um, yeah, I, with with almost every match I take some damage, well, some a lot damage. Most of the times when I win, I'm at le left like 10 health. But it's pretty scary against uh, the Shaven because he can burn me. <laughs> but yeah, I have to just keep pressure on his allies or play a very scary ally myself that he has to destroy it and not have me as his main target. So we're going to 21 now. <laughs> and he didn't sacrifice any. Uh, a card, I think. So what are we going to do? Are we going to steal this one? Uh, let's get rid of this one. Um, we could do that. And draw a card, but then I would for sure take 4 damage next turn. Hmm. Um, yeah, he only has 3 resources, so let's take a gamble and play the Ankle Breaker. We'll attack one of the Puans. And destroy it with our Agent Rex. So we would draw a card, yep. And then turn. So next turn we are going to steal the Tome of Knowledge. And yeah, you can draw a card from it, but then he's going to almost waste one of one of his turns so that's why I decided not to steal it now because I don't want to take too much damage and if he uses his dome he has two resources left so his turn is almost completely wasted so he comes in for two more taking me down to 19 let's see what he's going to play ah uh, there it is a lightning strike Well, that's pretty nice. We drew a stop the thief. So let's just stop the thief over there and remove his tome of knowledge. And we draw a card from that and we are destroying the Puin. Drawing another card. So there we are. He is at 24, I'm at 16 now. That's not too much. I think we're going to play our Raven next turn. 
she can survive uh, his ability. And most of the time they're using uh, lightning strike on it as well. In combination with the ability, the raven would die. And there he goes, he plays nothing. Um, I think I'm just going to play the raven, yeah, or these two. Now I'm going to play these two, so I should sacrifice the Lyarian, because he has not put lots of resources, that's no problem. And we're not giving it haste. So he has 7 shadow energy left. <laughs> Let's see what he's going to do. He's probably going to blow them up. Giving me 2 cards. So there he goes up to 5 resources. Well, I really have to win this. If I'm losing this match next turn, uh, next match, then I will be going to play Ember for one match again. If we win, we keep playing the, sh the, the land Shadow Stalker. Let's get rid of the server dice. And we'll just play a Jasmine. We're going to use our ability here. And we will play, I think, a Raven. Yeah, why not? I'm going to play a raven as well. <laughs> and we're going to hit him in the face, crippling him. And hit him a shaven. So he's at 21 now, so we have to kick him in the nuts a few times. <laughs> a few times more to at least bring him down to uh, 15 or something, just like me. Because if he has supernovas, I want him to reconsider playing them. I'm not playing them to damage me and yeah, that he can easily swallow the 5 damage himself. So I really have to be on some damage now. <laughs> so we have 3 uh, shadow energy left, so if I draw another, draw another ally and can still give it haste. He has 5 resources, 4 cards, so that's pretty scary as well. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to do nothing. Oh, well, that's awkward. Well, we are going to do something here. Yeah? Uh, he has 3. Well, let's just skip. Play this one here. Use our ability against her. And hit him in the face for 6. There he goes, 15. And we'll just end turn here. So I do not want to destroy it, it would give me a card. Uh, but I would have to attack with both the Jasmine and the Raven to kill her. Or give him haste and use my ability. <coughs> Excuse me. But I do not want to use the uh, play it that way. Because, yeah, a card is nice, and the Raven Dead is also nice, but he's going to use his ability as soon as possible, so the Raven only has 4 health left, so let him kill it. Let him kill her himself. There he goes, for the perfect score. 4 targets, 2 damage each. So this Raven is within his shot. Four damage. Yep. So she's going to die next turn, I guess. Well, let's just hit him for six. Take him down to nine, and we'll just end turn now. He's going to use his ability most likely. He has five resources and five cards. And I think we haven't seen a fireball yet. So there's a pretty big chance I'm getting at least two fireballs in my face. Pretty soon. There is his right of Elos. Uh, 
And yes, let's just check first the ill-gotten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have enough resources to cast them all. Um, yeah, well, I want to get rid of this, so I'm going to play all right or Vilas, give it haste, stealth and ambush, and we'll just finish him off. There we go. So we have at least board control. We have a pretty scary ally in play, 4-4. Four, four. Let's see what he's going to do about that. I have 16 health left, because we gain 2 because of the honor that. <laughs> and that's the only life card, um, life gain card in this deck. So there he goes, he's going to freeze it. And we are going to... We do not need a resource, but let's just drop out this one and this one. And now we'll just keep an eye on this one. Because I think he should play supernovas in the deck. And he plays them. It's impossible if you're not playing them with a Nishaven deck, I think. <laughs> or a Nishaven portal or something. <laughs> but let's see what he's going to do. So I got a lot more resources than him. More cards in play. Almost equal card in hand. There comes a lightning strike. And who going to be the second target? Yep. My hero. Okay, it's a pretty nice draw. Um, no, we do not need any. Any resources at the poem at this moment. Let's just hit him in the face for six. And we'll just play a yeah, let's just play nightshade. Who cares? If he plays a, a supernova now, it's going to be his death. So let's see what he's going to do about this. I got uh, a creature destruction or an ally destruction. And we have artifact destruction or item destruction. So here comes with a fireball. So he's going to live for another turn. I can only deal him um, one damage this turn. There we go. Two, sorry. <laughs> Taking him down to one. So he's a pretty critical position now. Next turn we have the Rider of Elos back. We have a Nightshade and a Lyarian Seductress to attack him. He only has four shadow energy. Yep. Yeah, this is a game. <laughs> Blade Wind Runner. Yep, this is a game. Another win for Lance. So, I'll, I hope you like this match. Uh, do not forget to subscribe, comment, uh, and like. As you can see, I've put in some night shades back because I really missed the turn two drop when I removed them. Um, so, yeah, I'm still changing the deck a bit, and we have uh, gained some rating. We are at 290 now. Uh, maybe in the next video, when you see me, I have some more rating because I'm going to play some matches on my phone today. So, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!